Now that the dust has settled, since the breaking news that Guild Wars 3 was a distinct possibility, I want to survey the landscape, share with you what we know, what's been confirmed, and my thoughts on the situation. Now, I am, as ever, a day late and a dollar short to all these breaking news clickbaity stuff, but there's a reason for that. I'm worried about misinformation. I don't want to say things and react to things which are untrue and disappoint you, so please forgive my late arrival to this conversation. And for anyone who's unaware of the situation, here is a TLDR of what transpired on the 28th of March. It was revealed in a shareholder meeting of NCSoft, the parent company of ArenaNet, that Guild Wars 3 is in the planning stages. And people on the internets, content creators and fans alike were joyous and sad and worried and interested about this revelation. I heard the news on the day that it dropped and I tempered my expectations heavily because this is a shareholder meeting, so this is about money future money for a big corporation and shareholders if you're blissfully and joyfully ignorant of the the business world shareholders are the global ticks of our society but unlike natural ticks when they've swelled enough with blood they drop off shareholders they don't they're like black holes but they don't even have hawking radiation they are a black hole for money they're a black hole for morals any kind of movement in fossil fuel industry trying to go into a different direction has been stymied by activist shareholders and their profit incentives the same shareholders that hold shares in big oil and big gas often hold shares in big booming global market for gaming and nc soft this is one of the larger firms so I took this with a gigantic mound of salt because this is just an exercise to uh, lubricate the corporate wheels and uh, keep shareholders happy and fluffed. One thing to say something to shareholders to pretend that it, profits are always going to go up in a world of infinite pyramid scheme growth. But the reality on the ground is very different. So I wanted to see what ArenaNet had to say. And this is their official statement about Guild Wars 3. As an active game studio, we are always doing internal exploratory work for possible future titles we'd want to create. However, we have nothing to confirm right now. The team's focus is on Guild Wars 2 development, including the game's next expansion, which we're excited to talk about soon. So, ArenaNet are neither confirming nor denying the possibility of Guild Wars 3. Does that mean that they're not developing it already? No, of course not. MMOs take well, good MMOs take multiple years to create. Between four and six years, depending on the scale and scope and ambition of the franchise. And we all know that ArenaNet is rather ambitious with its features and uh, driving its own path through the MMO landscape. So you can imagine that if they had ambition to do Guild Wars 3, it would be a bombastic, fantastic undertaking so many, many years out. That said, there has been a lot of hiring in the company. Could those new hires be working on Guild Wars 3? It is a distinct possibility. What would that mean for Guild Wars 2 if Guild Wars 3 was in development? Well, again, four to six years, maybe longer to develop an MMO, which means there could be four expansions before Guild Wars 3 releases. Does the release of Guild Wars 3 mean the uh, mothballing of Guild Wars 2? Maybe? Guild Wars 1, the original franchise, was put into maintenance mode when Guild Wars 2 released. And that is a possible future, but when you look at the landscape of MMOs at the moment, it's a little bit different. I think World of Warcraft, with its various iterations of the game, have changed the landscape and how developers could look at their games and how they run them. And it is not inconceivable that there is a dual strain of Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 3 running concurrently. Final Fantasy does similar things within its franchise with branching timelines and stories, so it's not inconceivable. Do ArenaNet have the staff for that? I have no idea. I am not privy to any of that. Could it be that we have had a reduction in the scope and scale of expansions to accommodate the creation of Guild Wars 3? Perhaps that is an underlying explanation for the lack of bridging content in Naos and the lack of scale and scope, I think, not doing the writers justice in portraying the narrative that I think I would have personally liked to play. I think a lot of people would have liked to have played through. 
And that's really all she wrote. There's a wiki page dedicated to it with links to MMORPG, with links to the original articles, all in Korean, but you can use Google Translate, although use it at your own risk. And that really is all the news. We have multiple expansions coming. ArenaNet will not be drawn on the topic of Guild Wars 3. And, you know, the ultimate point that shareholders and their wealth should be taxed as wages and hourly, hourly work is taxed. That's my opinion. Obviously an aside to this video, but that's not necessarily where it has to end for us, the community, because if nothing else, this exercise in clickbait could be a great opportunity for us to communicate our desires for future franchise expansion to the team so that they know where we are and how we feel and what we would be looking forward to. Like, you know, immediately having the Lagos race to play and Tengu and Coden playable races in the next Guild Wars universe expansion please. But that's it. That's all there is. Let me know what you think. Let them know what you think on Twitter and on the forums and on threads and other places where you share your opinion on the social medias. And if you have not jumped into Guild Wars and you're just listening to this video because you like a bit of gaming internet news, please do try Guild Wars 2. There are referral links down below for the free to play game and all the expansions thanks to ArenaNet's partner program of whom I am a proud affiliate. And of course, thank you all my wonderful patrons and supporters on Subscribestar for keeping this one woman show up running and adjacent to sane. If you'd like to join their ranks and my private patron discord, there are links below. I'm there most days and I answer any and all questions posed. But we have come to the very end. So until next time, please stay safe, stay awesome. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.